We are not taught how to communicate to create understanding. Communication is not the key. Comprehension is. Fifty thousand marketing messages, thirty-five thousand decisions, and seventy thousand thoughts. How do we use this type of information to make us more successful? There is so much noise and chaos in our world. We need our communication to help us cut through that. Being on stage is one of the best feelings. That make your heart excited? I know a lot of people are afraid of public speaking. That's my favorite place to be. Remember that non-conscious mind makes 95% of our decisions, but because what I have to share transforms the people that I share it with. How to blow your mind open here with the science of behavioral communications. I just think she's amazing. Elizabeth brings just a sense of, of real professionalism, and we're a professional association, but she, she one-ups that level every time she shows up. If people don't care about what you're saying in a way so that they want to understand and even potentially make a change, what has your communication accomplished? I heard Elizabeth Edwards present at a women's networking conference in New York. When I tell you she brought the power to the stage, it was electric. She was dynamic, but also insightful. What rules should we really be following in this day and age to hyper-connect with our audiences? Her presentation skills are exceptionally good. She connects with the audience uh, in a meaningful way. She's got great material to present. That's the key to it. Is did I change attitudes? perceptions, and behavior. We have learned so many fascinating things about how the mind processes communication and what it wants to hear to go from a state of, what does that mean? To, okay, I'm with you. We can communicate all we want, but if we aren't understood, what good did we do? Elizabeth's topic is unique. Behavior modification is what great communications, great public relations does, and that's actually what Elizabeth is speaking about, is how to use communications to actually change behavior versus just creating awareness. One of the things I want to challenge you to think about is why are you communicating in the first place? When we are working with smart, seasoned, successful communication professionals, business leaders, but we're giving them a new framework through which to consider why and how I am communicating with someone in the first place. I'm not doing it just to broadcast information out. I'm talking to this person so that they will understand me. She's extremely cerebral, but also personal and personable and humble. And so when you combine all of those things together, it's a pretty extraordinary experience. When Elizabeth walks into a room, she lights up that room. When she takes the stage, she has a commanding presence. And when she leaves it, people feel like they know her intimately. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Alex. It brings me so much joy, as well as I feel very honored to be taking the science-based system that we created for successful engagement and sharing that with other leaders, communication professionals, and the next generation of communicators.